Uh, okay. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, got sure. your music, you got your... Yeah, should I show, show those slides? Oh, we're just gonna play. Can you play some striptease music? Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I need a tuning note. Uh, <laughs> okay, now this hasn't been serviced lately enough. Okay, oh, whoops. Oh, that's what's happening. Sorry. Go. Where are we going? Nowhere fast.
I guess we, we should say something. Sure. After you. Well, no, you go ahead. I got nothing to say. I got nothing. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so that was a piece that uh, Jean-Jacques Perret recorded in the 50s on Andioline. He was, you know, one of the most famous popularizers, but, you know, great players of the instrument. Um, one of the interesting things, I, yeah, okay, well, there's, there's multiple, there's onions of shit going on here, so. Uh, <laughs> first layer is that if any of you see, have seen his videos on YouTube, you know, there's a lot of things with very imitative things. Okay, we'll play the, uh, you know, the daxophone, and now you will imitate the, oh, it's an amazing imitation. You play the flute, oh, it sounds just like a flute. You know, but, and, and that's all great. But um, they were made, each one by George Genie, Genie it's pronounced yeah. J E N N Y, as I dream with Genie with a light brown uh, uh, undulating. Um, and so uh, these were custom made. Each one of them was different. So he worked with Pere to make that specific thing, you know, highly imitative. So he could go on the prices right or what's my line and freak everybody out, because it was pretty freaky back then. Um, do you want to tell them about this, or should I tell them about this particular thing once, and then we'll continue? Or? Yeah, so what's interesting about this is uh, through Rob's connection with um, this Ondialine that he got, and it was serviced by, um, uh, through the funding of Wally DeBacker, or Gautier? Is Gautier? Gautier. Gautier, You know the yeah. song, Somebody I Used to Know? Yeah. That's okay. So I toured with him uh, playing, he and I playing Andioline with this project. Yeah. Uh, and uh, an interesting feature of this, well, there's a number of interesting features. One of them, the, you look at the odd shape, it was designed to be an accompaniment underneath a grand piano. So it just slips right under there. And so you'd be playing it, and it would be the sort of lead line there. So if you think Yamaha or somebody else had the first. Moving keyboard, uh, no, this was in there. Um, the, um, this, the sound generation from this is based, and the time, on tubes. And he used this technique, which eventually became known as a genie oscillator. So um, Wally sent, us, uh, sent me books, and he sent them to Christoph. And Christoph was looking at the description. They had the, the kind of like a how to uh, DIY home kit, uh, how to make your own own dealine. and he But he describes the circuitry. And when Christoph looked at it, he says, oh, geez, I, 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 I understand this. And I could perhaps implement this in the Ega Matrix engine. And so that was the inspiration for that Genie oscillator being an option inside the matrix. And uh, now with the specialty synth design that we're going to uh, then show you, and and play some genie sounds. So now next pieces that we're gonna play are gonna be combinations of uh, the Ondialine with its genie and also with the um, continuum and its uh, interpretation of those that genie. Uh, but you, this particular instrument was discovered by, uh, yes. Well, should we show them the, the sounds that you developed that, uh, that going back and forth before we play music? Um, that yeah, might more, so that might be more okay, so a better way to approach things. That's going to take just a sec. I'll tell the story. Yeah, while tell you the story while I get set. So, okay, so I had been searching for an Andioline for a million years. So I meet Wally Gautier, and he comes over hanging out in my house. He goes, Oh, I see you got a Clavioline. I said, Yeah, but you know what I've always really wanted was an Andioline. I've been searching for one for, you know, 20 years, 30 years. He goes, Oh, leaves it at that. Two months later, he calls me back. He goes, Rob, yeah, I got an Andioline. I said, you motherfucker. <laughs> you know, I've been looking for one. It turned out that he had been looking one for years, too. Um, so he got this thing, and then he got a second one. I think he's got like 15 of them now. So anyway, I, I, you know, we, we just went crazy together. So one day, I'm coming back from touring with him in Sydney and Tasmania. I meet my next door neighbors who I've known for almost 20 years. She is a professional horn player. He is an architect. Rob, what have you been doing? Well, I was just in 
Tasmania of all places, uh, playing this very obscure electronic instrument that is long forgotten and my friend has brought them back to life for us to use. Uh, uh, but no, you know, nobody knows these things. It's, it's called an ondioline. Say after me, ondioline. So slowly the husband turns to the wife and goes, honey, don't we have one of those in storage? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so, after about a year, I got to storage with them. It is in terrible shape, but with Wally's help, this is that Ondioline. This is the Oldham, who are my neighbors, the Oldhams. This is the now the Oldham Ondioline. And at a certain point, I'll open the back so you can see how spotless this thing is. My friend is one of the guys who put Humpty back together again. Um, so, ta da. So, you want to do the comparisons? Yeah, yeah what, okay. what you got there? Troy, actually, can I say a short thing? Sure, about yeah, that? absolutely. So, so, the interesting thing about the onulate is uh, you've got. Uh, a thing that generates a phase, basically an oscillator, just the phase part of it. And that phase is used in a very clever way to, and two other oscillators, to, to be the phase for those oscillators, like you would expect, but also to make them decay. So it's a very interesting thing because uh, they, he has this way of making decay faster or slower, which corresponds to a wider or, or a narrower formant. Always, uh, actually I should say narrow or more narrow formant. But it's very interesting because it's basically like a bandpass filter, except it's implemented with these oscillators in, in, a, in quite a bizarre way. Um, and definitely has its own sound. So when we say GD oscillator, I don't know if anybody else used that word, but there's a lot to the ondioline besides the oscillators. So uh, what, what we've done, yeah, you know, with Ed, uh, well, first Christophe, and then and then uh, what Ed's working with here with the, uh, is a um, uh, is just that part of the ondioline. And you'll see, I don't know if you're going to have time to describe all your switches and such, but there's, there's a lot of other things. Uh, one quick thing, if you can't see it, the keyboard does vibrato also. It's monophonic. Uh, there's a lever here, which you can use with your hand if you are not otherwise busy. Now, I've done a lot of things where I'm playing piano over here, and you have to use your right knee and use your left <laughs> foot for the, your sustain pedal for the piano. So well, it, I found this exercise that you should all do. Um, yeah. All right. Anyway. What? You said because you could stick it under a piano originally, right? So you would, I'm assuming you would have used your knee originally? Uh, I, I don't know. I Probably. Yeah. So are there are people that just use the leg on the lever after hand. Yeah, the leg lever. Like steel turn. Yeah, or the pedals there, on the pedal steels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You do what? On, on a pedal steel, some of them, you have a, a knee lever. Yeah. I had a four piece of combo compact. But well, I did like wah wah. I just, just like that. Yeah, well, I'm a lever lover, so I mean, it's just true. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? Oh, what is the sound? Um, this is J-I-G. Okay. Uh, make it loud. Okay. Blast them. J-I-G. Find out what it means to me. Okay. Sorry. Give me a... I, let me just tune for a second. Give me a note. Close enough for jazz. Okay. I didn't hear the first part? I don't remember the first part. <laughs> so we were just able to do this in the, uh, in the hotel or in our um, Airbnb. It was the first time we had sort of been exposed to this. And Rob would play a sound. And then using this specialty synth, able to dial in the parameters to match up. And so it's not exactly the same, but it's it's so close in the ballpark to the, we're into the difference of there's a speaker, there's some distortion happening there, but it's right in there. 
Oh, you don't have that. I don't have the F sharp. Yeah, you don't have it. That's why I did Oh, wait, it. I do. <laughs> so let's try another timbre, then. Timbre! This is uh, CGJ. CGJ, that's a sweeter sounding one. Yeah. All right, give me something. It's great that he's following because perfect pitch. I, I would be totally screwed up. Um, and here's another one. This is uh, O's, zeros. H underscore V1. H what? H underscore V1. Oh. What are you adjusting, actually? What are you adjusting? Switches. So, so those names actually mean something. They're the actual switch controls that are on the owner. Oh, this is vibrato, so you got to do the vibrato. Why did you? I had it. Or do you have an automated vibrato? Is I thought this I did. one did you have the, uh, it wasn't vibrato, it was No, off. it wasn't this one, I don't think so. No, so I'll just turn the V off. Okay. Go ahead. It's not very much there. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, yeah, literally yeah. after plugged it. But yeah, yeah. They're, they're, uh, they're, 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 it has a handful of tubes, and then these switches will switch in capacitors, in some cases some resistors, into the circuit. But for those of you who are engineering, they're not isolated from each other or anything. So switching all these cross relations, how the guy figured out anything. To do switching with, I, I these switches in concert when it's dark and you have very limited time. You're on the same song and you're in two bars. You have to have, I mean, you've got to choreograph all of this. You know, I mean, it's, it's hilarious. Yeah. Do we have something else? We then? have oh, just two more. This is C. Ah, yes. This is a bass sound, right? Yeah, I guess so. Play something low. Stuff. Let's see. Oh. Okay, there we go. And now to CJ. 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 Is it another bass one? Another bass one, I think. Uh, let's stick in the bass register for this. Maybe we'd ask. Have... 
and you check out the overdrive on the Okay, it's not real. I mean, you know, it's not nobody's gonna fool anybody that's Bernie Worrell, but <laughs> but you get the idea of the What's interesting from the our our specialty synth for the genie is that it just it's it's proof of this concept. Like so the, the booklet was was true, you know, like when he talked about certain things, um, it's Christoph was able to do that genie and Lippold uh, optimized it to run inside the um, Ega matrix. And then when I designed the specialty synth, it actually gave, brought all those parameters forward so that when we sat in the room and decided he played it and I tried to dial in these sounds by moving, you know, just particular controls here. You okay? I was able to recreate those timbres. For the uh, for the genie. Are those the only sound examples? That's the, the sound we did. Yeah. So uh, two things. Now the only way to deploy the thing is you have to rub on the surface to get the genie oscillator, <laughs> and then you only get three patches. <laughs> <laughs> and don't rub too long; it starts to smoke from the tubes. Yeah. So uh, shall we uh... do our pieces? Yeah. So I'm going to use two genie sounds that. Uh, I made before the specialty synth um, dialed in. But, I, need, uh, I need the day of attunement before okay. you get set there. Uh, give, give, me, give me the people's nose. Ooh, that's. Well, fuck it. It'll have to do, right? Three, four. Let's try it again. Let me hear you, Captain. Three, four. Yes, sir, Bach. Yes, sir, yes, sir, Bach. Hey, Bach, or Bach. Okay. Uh, give me another note. Uh, give me an octave lower. Sorry about the tuning on this. This was supposed to go in for servicing, but it was not possible. So, live with it. Just think bagpipes. Fast, right? Shift.
<laughs> that's all we had, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's so it. So we got the slides? Uh, yeah, so we'll show those slides. So, uh, uh, Hey, what? Yeah, you know what? While you're looking for the slides, I'll turn this around and you sure. can. Sure. So this is what it looks like in the front. Oh! Oh! Uh, no, this is actually a toupee. <laughs> it's made by Hell Toupee. It's a special company. That, no, uh, it, it, I'm sure it comes detached, but I, I, I am not the guy. Uh, let me show you the the other biz, end of the business. Viola. Viola. <laughs> So those like the oscillators above the amplifier down below? Well, in the fuck a fino category, they uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, oscillator above, yes, amplifier yeah, what you below. You know, there must be 50 ways to water your leader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Problem, oh, problem is all the side you know, as she said to me. I think the original tube is it. Yes, but not the original. No, they're not. Okay. <laughs> This whole thing got rebuilt. I mean, it looked like it was a total disaster. So when you see this pristine looking thing right here, in the ranking high in the don't get used to this category. But there's, in that though, it, it's pretty clever design in that there's one set of, what kind of tube that where you really need exactly the right tube. And the rest of them, there's actually, you know, a wide variety of things yeah. that work. So that's, that's where that uh, song comes from. What kind of tube am I? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> and the difference between this and the Plasio one? And I say, <laughs> well, this is the Undealing Jolie model. Uh, um, the difference is, well, that first of all, you can't finger vibrato on that. Uh, the sound is just totally different. Now that would, I would say that has a little bit more nose and thorax. Well, this is more, uh, never mind. Wasn't, wasn't that, wouldn't they like make a like chassis suit for the other Kind of, I think so. They folded, I'll, I'll show, I can show you a picture better than I can say the word Bakelite. But I can Bakelite in as fast as I can. Okay, this is the part where we're not going to leave her till 5.30. Okay, and then back to the slides. Well, yeah, there's George Genie working on this very same Ondeline. Me, not. George Genie. And uh, here's uh, Wally, and that, um, so that's Wally on the left playing the Ondeline, and the, on the right, uh, Rob? Where's my setup there? Whoa. Um, hang on. My setup is to the left of Wally. You can't really. I'm going blind. With with the computer and the yeah, you're just yeah, a, the left setup this over there. Computer, a piano, some Moog stuff, a, a theremin. Yeah. So I my my station is to the left of of where the uh, lights hit. So if you really want to listen, uh, look at a really interesting organization that Wally is the founder of that ForgottenFuturesMusic.org. Yeah. Where it's not just the own dealing. It's, um, no, it's the got, guy's got quite the passion yeah, for this stuff. Yeah, you got to go to this website. Well, you, do you have uh, uh, ondealing.com up there slide? Yeah. No, well, yeah, that's there, but it's, uh, I don't, that's all I can. have a slide, another slide? Oh, there's the, uh, there's and the so there you can see the um, Ondeline under the piano, I think, right? Now, there were lots yeah. of different models. Um, he made this from like 1945 to late 60s. This one was built in 1955. That's how old this thing is, this, this piece. Um, anyway, go to Forgotten Futures, go to Ondeline.com.
They're amazing websites that Wally made. Forgottenfuture.org. .org, yeah. I lied. Music, Forgotten Futures Mucus, right up there. Okay. And um, yeah, I put the special pieces. Are you going to? Sh I just wanted to show it just quickly. What it looks like. Actually, it was real interesting. I, if you did those pretty quick, right? If you just start with a blank thing and match what he's doing. I'll try. It really shows it off nice. Okay. Put me on the spot. Well, maybe. Well, I, I was just sitting in the room there, and they were churning out these things. They heard, and I don't actually know how he hears what, which knob to twiddle, but the knob twiddle. But this works. was, um, yeah. So here I'm using the same kind of basic design that I did for the ratio synth, but instead of having, we have the same master section on the right hand side, but and the same sort of shape generators, but instead of that I've got and the same sort of preset structure. But we have a resonator, two resonators, and there is a master I, oscillator. That's, I have an idea. Yeah. Since you have these sounds saved, why don't you go to one of them and show them what it would be like if it, you know, move it around? Well, sure. I think that might be. Or, or, or you play something and you try to match them. Well, well this will be, we already kind of match these things. And this way, we can kind of go back to it. We can see where it's well, you can hear, like, how, there's, we got, yeah. how we got to where he was, rather. Two resonators. Which sound is this? Um, this is um, the jig. Is it up? Okay. No, that's not it. Jig? It's getting close. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, maybe You're if I if, maybe if I ran the. Uh, um, yeah. Let me actually load up the. Uh, it helps if I have the right dot mid file in there, so. The what? Yeah, what's wow. going on here? That's messed up. Yeah, let me just, uh, cool. I got to figure out what's going on here. Anybody heard any good jokes lately? Uh, what? Did you see the Bob Newhart one? He said, I don't like country music, but I don't mean to de denigrate those who do like country music. For those who do like country music, denigrate means to put down. Yeah. So there we are. Got it now. Okay. Yeah. So that's a balance between. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll show you first in here in the continuum. We have um, a master oscillator here, which really just defines the pitch. And then we have these two genie oscillators, or genie resonators, which are referencing harmonics based on this master over here. And that's the fundamental structure. You only require one resonator. And we figure there's two resonators there. There are two resonators. Uh, you can put more of them in there if you want. That's right. Um, but, so and here in this design, we have one resonator here, another resonator over here, and then uh, a mix, uh, an amplitude control with a balance. So we can listen separately. There's one. And so if I change this one, bandwidth, frequency, Spectrum, and these are again modulatable by, for instance, And so, uh, and go, just play where you have it now. And then, is this where the preset wound up? No. Where the preset wound up was here. So. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. 
<laughs> he did all he did all that stuff. So. But you know that was about as far as we wanted to go with it because well that's a, as far as we're going to go. I mean yeah. you could continue with this emulation and say oh well let's do all the switches, um, but yeah I, I just there isn't a point to it really. And also the other thing is um, uh, every ondoline was different too. Yeah. So you know. So this is kind of matching this particular ondoline. But again, we have. Okay. All right. I think we got to get the hell out of here. Now. Any questions? Are you all good? You've got that. <laughs> yes. Is it, uh, I know you're doing a lot of left hand. Yeah. Like the side of it. Is there any, like, anything else? Oh, there's a bit of a, a, a change in uh, uh, pressure there. A change in the weather. Well, yeah. Um, there's a slight change in pressure. Uh, here. Let me turn it back on. Oops, I just turned it off. Stuff my next magic. Okay, so you see if I push down here just very lightly, but if I lean in, um, so there's a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Um, other thing is it's really tricky to play this thing because the levers on the black notes are short and so those are really can be really, you kind of really got to get used to, you know, that it's going to be an extra push on those black notes or else you're going to, or your black note will not appear. So, you know, you got to know that that's a, a situation. So, uh, that would be something that would could be better on this, but other than that, I mean, listen to it. It's beautiful. <laughs> Actually, you can only get quite narrow bands. You know, as an engineer reading it, you know, oh, these guys are BSing. But then when we implemented it, it, it is really described what it does. So the shortcomings of having, so when you when you do the resonators, all they are is up multiplied by whatever number you want. It doesn't have to be an integer uh, of, of a fundamental frequency, and that decays over one fundamental period. And because it decays over one fundamental period, that's always quite, or, or faster. Yeah, so it's a very, uh, 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 yeah, you, you know, you, you can't do, uh, uh, there's a lot of things you can't do with it, but the description is exactly right, and with, especially with the right play, playing the right idioms, it's gorgeous. Also, there's things that, of course, we don't have, like when it overdrives, um, it's, it's beautifully done. And we, we could maybe do a few more of those things, but uh, yeah, at, at some point, this instrument's going to be its own thing. The interesting thing about Jean-Jacques Perry, who was a champion of this instrument, as he approached the end of his life, he had really dreamed that there was a continuous pitch version of it. Uh, yeah, play that continuous. Can your 10H thing do some of that? 